this is mastoid process of the temporal bone this bony projection is the mastoid process of the temporal bone and it this bone this mastoid process contains within it numerous mastoid air cells so here this one is the external acoustic meatus just posterior superior to it there is supramatal triangle of macavan which is bounded by the supramastoid crest then the outer margin of the external acoustic meatus and the tangential line so uh, the mastoid antrum lies around 15 to 12 to 15 mm deep to this supramatal triangle okay and this mastoid process this is the mastoid process it contain mastoid air cell now i have cut down one side of the mastoid process you could see these are the mastoid air cells like you could see here these are the mastoid air cells this one within the mastoid process these are it contains numerous air cells which is present within the mastoid process this mastoid process was not actually present during the birth it develops when the child is start holding its head and the moving its head that is it develops due to the pull of uh, sternocleidomastoid after the age of 2 years so this is uh, mastoid process which has been cut down and you could see uh this these are the mastoid air cells the process has been cut down and now the mastoid air, air cells are exposed so it is another specimen here also you could see that numerous air cells are present within the mastoid process of the temporal bone see all these cells are intercommunicating with each other so this is one more specimen here also you could see uh, mastoid air cells are present these are numerous in number present within the mastoid process itself in this picture also you could see the mastoid antrum and mastoid air cell is marked